Mac can do that match if I it didn't look mm -hmm. good after the first another huge battle. Do you think physically after what happened with Verdesco it was too much today? Or? Oh, well, honestly, I had uh, problems with my knee already at the start of the tournament, so each match I had uh, some difficulties and stiffness in my knee. Not that's a, that's an excuse, but I just today uh, it was the worst. I had a lot of trouble even in that first set. I was not expecting it to, to win it at all. Uh, I lost uh, Sir on 4 all, and he gave me a chance uh, to come back and won, won the tiebreak. But I just didn't feel good on the court, and uh, mentally it was difficult to, to focus because I didn't know how much uh, I can push off or you know if even just to run and uh, even on the serve I couldn't just uh, you know go go for it uh, full on and uh, it was just a mental battle but then sort of after the third set I tried to block that out and play as much as good as I can and uh, I felt that I was hitting the ball really good and, and feeling the ball well but just physically it was a little bit of a difficulty for me to match him up because he was yeah. playing uh, great tennis and definitely big credit to him he's he's playing really good not that I want to take uh, uh, or, or uh, just not to how to say it, don't want to yeah take the credit off because uh, he definitely deserved the victory and you know it was a fair battle at the end I had few chances at the beginning of the fifth and uh, then after it uh, at the end he played really well and definitely uh, he's in good form so uh, that's that's the end of the story with, with the the condition you were in were you surprised that you even took it to five sets um yes and no i mean i uh i was just a little bit uh, surprised that i won the first set because at the beginning i felt the worst um and then um just because i went, was up and down so much uh, with my focus and uh, i was not able to just uh, block that out but um, i'm feeling the ball well i was hitting it good and when i'm on the when i'm set when i'm in position i was Middling it really well and hitting a lot of good balls and uh, you know just uh, in some areas I'm, I'm blocked and you know that's the that's the case it's difficult to uh, match uh, these guys and to continue to go through the tournament uh, with just a little bit of a um, you know phys this this uh, disadvantage in physicality. You had this issue in the off season I think the same. Was there any point where you were like maybe? Come to Melbourne at all? Well, actually, it was good. I took some time off and uh, it got better. And uh, when I came here, uh, even I played um, two matches at Kuyong. Uh, first day, um, I felt a little bit stiffer. Second day, it was great. Uh, and then when I continued uh, to practice just um, on the uh, on the practices, everything was good. And then when I started to play matches, I felt a little bit stiffness. I, I thought maybe just uh, it's a reaction of maybe first matches, things like that. So it, it might uh, just go away, but it's, you know, there is not enough time between the matches uh, to <laughs> recover enough and then uh, just mm. kept going in that direction. But, uh, you know, it is how it is. I'll just uh, take maybe a couple more weeks to uh, try to take care of this and uh, continue the best I can. Can I just ask you, Marion, about the um, deciding set tie breaks here, the first mm -hmm. 10 points? It means that all four Grand Slams have got different ways mm -hmm. they end uh, mm -hmm. deciding sets now. Do, do you think that's a good or bad thing? And, and mm -hmm. which of those systems do you prefer? Mm -hmm. um, well, they asked, uh, I, I feel, I think they asked quite a lot of uh, players uh, towards the end of the season, what do we think uh, about the fifth set? Um, and I was for it, for the tiebreak, but regular tiebreak. Uh, why? You know, just because we are so used to it and, you know, we never play. 10-point uh, tiebreak and then even in the practice we don't play up to 10 you know it's always a uh, tiebreak up to seven so it's a little bit weird but you know as they say it's a uh, as all the Grand Slams went uh, for something different they also wanted to try this and uh, you know there was I think two two matches uh, that I've seen uh, Opelka and then Karlovic with Nishikori so you know not that, not that many matches are going there but I think you know in my own this, in my own thinking, I feel that it should be a regular tiebreak. Do you, do you think it would be better if all four Grand Slams were the same? Well, I think, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think it would be uh, good for the game because, yeah. like this, I think even fans don't know what's going yeah. on. It 
Every week, like, okay, which one is it already? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So there was a British player, Katie Bolter. She got to seven points. She, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the uh, <laughs> told you have to win three more points. <laughs> there you go. You know, it's uh, w what to think. Yeah. And I wanted mean, to make sure is it the same knee that you had uh, that took you months of the tour a few years ago? Yeah. Is that the yeah. Same it's, yeah. I'm uh, battling the battle yeah. all the time. So. Uh, you know, we'll see, um, you know, just to see uh, what I can do. But, you know, I felt that it was getting better and we'll see uh, what's going to go uh, next month. Thanks. <coughs> Thank Thanks, you. Man. Thank you.